Hey, I'm Brent, you're watching Seam Culture. Welcome to October because it is National Popcorn Popping Month. Very specific, different than National Popcorn Month in that we're actually popping popcorn. Somewhere along the line, I'm expecting National Popcorn Popping and Eating Month, probably in February, stay tuned for that. But why are we talking about popcorn on Steam Culture? Because we shot an episode a couple of years ago, and did you know that naturally occurring steam is at the center of your popcorn eating experience? Well, even if you did know, it's such a dang good video, I want you to watch it. So hang around, I want you to watch this video on popcorn. I'll see you next week. Mmm, popcorn. So I needed some popcorn facts, so I went to popcorn.org and found out this, that there are four major types of corn, but only popcorn will pop. And this stuff got really popular during the Great Depression because no one had any money, and popcorn was a cheap alternative to snacks and things like that. So we need to talk about one important thing. Why does popcorn pop to start off with? So the question is, here I have this, and here I have this. What happens in between? Well, there's a droplet of water in this guy right here. And when you heat it up, it starts to expand. When you get to 212 degrees, you start to make steam. When you get to about 347 degrees, or about 135 pounds, this thing ruptures, and the steam will just kind of billows out of it, and it turns into this guy. Check out this video I have from the Slow Mo Lab guys. Watch this steam explode out of the kernel. Pow! Now we're eating popcorn. So there you have it, folks. That's how we go from here to here. And you saw it on Steam Culture. Well, if you have an idea or a question, email us at steamculture at wearinc.com. Like and share our videos with people that you like to share things with. I'm glad you were here. I'll see you next Friday.